自然豊かな行楽サマーキャンプ避暑地には夏の魔物なる脅威が現れるフェイトグランドオーダーサーバントサマーキャンプカルデアスリラーナイトさあついてきなさい後輩 Hello, everyone. Welcome back for some more. Let's play Fate Grand Order. We do have some missions to check off, which we will do right here. Some more divine enemies have been defeated. All right, all right. And more importantly, we can move on because we defeated enough sphinxes. All right, but before we do that, before we do that, let's go and actually, one thing I can do. Is we can ascend our Kiara now to her third and final form because, uh, well, I got a few things and now we can. And those stats are really good. Those are some really good stats. Let's see what her final form looks like. I see the mermaid tail, yep. Okay. Okay. I know that character. What? Oh boy. Uh, so we get apply evade to all allies one time, three turns. Nice. Remove sure hit. Nice. And apply one enchant state. Where critical rate decreases, treat it as a mental debuff for three turns and decrease. Oh, but that's for enemies. Decrease defense. Oh, because this is a mental debuff. And your skill get. Oh, wow. that You pop that. And that's really good for that. Okay. Because, yeah. Okay. I, I was reading that. I'm like, oh, is that is that bad for her? No, it's not. It's good for her. Okay. Well, let's get going. I have no idea how much longer this event is. It definitely feels like one that is quite long. It's a reason why it's like a 20 day event. I knew something felt slightly off. Maybe it was the way he behaved or what he said or just his general attitude. Whatever it was, I couldn't bring myself to voice my suspicions. Because if that was a lie, it would mean everything else was a lie too. I have no idea who's speaking in these sections. I can't sleep. Are we back to being Grill? Are we Dude? I don't know. Whoa, that's... But then, for now, I catch vague snippets of a discussion I know nothing about. Who is that? That's scary. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like this. The next thing I knew, it was morning. I don't like those silhouettes. There's something threatening about them. Morning, Senpai. Looks like it's going to be another beautiful day. How are you feeling, Master? I'm sure you must be worn out after everything ha that happened yesterday. All good here. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Breakfast time, come get it while it's still hot. So, like, where's Emya? Where's Murasaki? Where's Lanling? Right? We have a lot to catch up on, but it's nothing that can wait until after a good meal. Good point. Come on, Senpai. Hmm. Let's eat. Itadaki Mas. So, what should we do today? I'm thinking we'll discuss today's plans after breakfast, followed by a break before putting them into action. Understood. My beloved and I did the cooking today, incidentally. Well, my beloved did an amazing job as usual, I hope you can forgive the flaws in my rough attempts. There's no need to be so modest, everything is delicious. I think so too. Good, I'm relieved to hear that. Hmm, hmm, Lady Tomoe? Oh, my apologies, this dish was so good that I thought I would like to try making it myself sometime. So I was trying to figure out how it was seasoned. In that case, I'd be happy to teach you the recipe. Would you? I would appreciate that a great deal, thank you. I was thinking it might be a good idea to search for Lily today. I know she said she was going to look into some things on her own, but she still should be back by now. 
Good point. It has been a long time since she ran off to investigate whatever caught her attention. I can't say I'm terribly worried about her myself. But, servant or not, we certainly can't leave a child to fend for herself forever. As soon as we're all ready, I suggest we drop a grid of the area near this cottage and begin searching each square until we find her- Oh, the Animal Crossing method! Of course. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking that, knowing her, she may just show up smiling as though nothing happened. Can't argue with that. Alright, we now have some time to relax before we begin our search for Lady Sesyoin. I'm sure you and Lady Mash must both be exhausted after everything that happened yesterday, Master, so I... Why would Mash be exhausted? What's up with that? Hmm, so I do hope you'll take this opportunity to relax. How are you going to spend this break, Mash? Oh, good question. Would you be okay if I went along with you, Senpai? Mm-hmm. It's very foggy today, isn't it? Weirdly chilly, too. So, what shall we do today? We can always pay someone else a visit. How about we keep it to just the two of us today? O okay. Just the two of us it is, then. That being said, it's not safe to go too far from the cottage, so there isn't much to do besides walking around the lake. Then why don't we go with you? Yeah, we can all go round and round together. Oh, good morning, Valkyries. That sounds like a good idea. Thank you for letting us accompany you. It might be fun to go out canoeing if only we had a canoe. What about fireworks? Fireworks? That sounds great. I love fireworks in summer. The way they burn up and scatter is just like what happens to the souls of fallen warriors. I like fireworks too, but it's still morning. So I can't help but think they'll be less impressive with the sun out. Oh, don't worry about that. We can just wrap the area where we set the fireworks off in darkness. We might not be able to do anything huge like control the weather, but we can still make a localized area dark. That sounds like a bad idea, considering what we know happens at dark, but I'm curious about this. What do you think, Senpai? Sure, let's do it. I'm curious about it. Okay. Trude, the responsible one. Alright, then I'll set up the fireworks. Hildur, the hardworking one. I'll cover our surroundings with a veil of night. Portland, the clever one. And I'll sit back and enjoy. Portland. Fine, I'll help too. Oh wow, it really does look like nightfall now. Mm-hmm, but it goes right back to daylight if you just take a few steps outside the curtain. And here are the fireworks. It's too bad we couldn't use any of the kind you launched into the sky. But unfortunately, those would cause this veil of darkness to disappear. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's light some fireworks. Like, are you talking like the little... Yeah, oh, the little sparklers, okay. That's a little effect. That's summery, for sure. They're very cute, aren't they? It's just too bad they disappeared so quickly. Yeah, if only this could last forever. If only summer never stopped. Senpai? Forget it, it's nothing. Hmm. Uh, senpai? Y yes If there's something on your mind, please tell me what it is. I know I probably won't be able to help you resolve it. But I'd like to Vinci said, sometimes just talking about things that are weighing on you can help you feel better. Thanks, Mash. And last but certainly not least. Oh, sparklers! I've heard these are often used to finish up a round of fireworks, especially in Japan. Apparently, everyone gathered together is supposed to compete to see whose sparkler lasts the longest. In that case, I'll use a flame rune to light all our sparklers at the same time to keep things fair. Is everyone ready? Ready! Alright. What was that? Oh, that was the flame rune. That sounded like I was having a completely, like, a heart breakdown. It's lit, it's lit. Ah. <laughs> Looks like you're the first one out, Ortland. That's what happens when you get so excited you wave around every which way. I couldn't help it, it was just too cute. Okay, Hilder, easy to... Achoo! Ah. Oh, Hilder. Aw, oh, man, I can't believe I got so careless. You both need to learn to be much more careful. When handling delicate fireworks like this, you need to keep your grip nice and loose instead of freezing up like... Uh, Trude? Yes? You dropped the ball. Literally. Uh-huh. I think your grip was a little too loose. 
I can't believe it. Well, looks like it's all down to you and Mash now, Master. All right, I'll do my best. S staring right at it. Ah. Oh, you dropped your sparkler, huh? Oh, well, these things happen, right? And we have a winner. Congrats, Mash. Could we maybe try again? Portland? Oh, sorry, it's nothing. That's weird. It almost looks to me like Master dropped her sparkler on purpose. That is a very purposeful pronoun drop. Why would she do that? That, that too. Did she just want to make Mash happy? That is very purposeful. <laughs> this was so much fun. I've never done fireworks in the morning before. Thank you, Valkyries. No problemo. It seems break time is almost over. You two go back to the cottage. We'll clean up around here. Okay, if you're so sure. Thanks. So th that's 100% for if you're stupid and don't see them change in battle. Thanks, Valkyries. We're back. Good. Did you enjoy yourselves? We sure did. I'm glad to hear that. As for my beloved and I, we split up to investigate the nearby area and, well... Did you find something? Yes, we did. A couple of things. First, remember those lodgings you encountered in your recent dream, the Smiling Hotel? Well, it seems a hotel with that same name exists in real life as well. It does? Really? Indeed. I thought it was solely the realm of this dream you all shared, but it seems it genuinely exists. Of course, there was no sign of the three servants you saw there now. It appears to be a perfectly ordinary establishment. So, is that where we're going to investigate today? Not necessarily. In addition to the hotel, we found another compl another completely new building. What kind of building? From the outside, it looks to be a mansion, but we still have yet to investigate the inside. Personally, I'm of the opinion that we should explore this mansion before we visit the hotel. If there's nothing of significance there, we can always go to the hotel afterward. What do you all think? Okay, well, we can check out the mansion first. Understood. Then let's set off as soon as we're all ready. Oh yeah, that's the mansion. A new building, huh? My only question is, why is... Why is she in both... Worlds? Is it worlds? Is it... Is... Hmm... A new building, huh? Right. And, as far as I've been able to tell, the area was empty until it spontaneously showed up. So it is not that we overlooked it. It just popped up out of nowhere, like all the other buildings we've seen so far. It certainly seems more than a little suspicious. The front door doesn't seem to be locked. What shall we do? I am... Um, I'll go anywhere as long as I'm with you, honey. I think we pretty much have to check this place out. Right, Mash? Mash? Something wrong? Oh, uh, no. I'm sorry. It's nothing. So we're going to investigate this new building then? Right, understood. Let's all be careful in there. This isn't my Mash. This isn't my eggplant. Something's up. Hey, Tomoe. Tomoe. Y yes, what is it, Lady Yume Ren? Why are you so excited about this? Oh, I'm sorry. The prospect of exploring this mansion excites me for two reasons. The first is that no building such as this ever existed in my own time. And the second is that the mansions like this show up in all the best horror games. Oh, this is so exciting. I was going to say this is Resident Evil for her again. Is anyone finding mysterious statues? Of oh, wow, okay. Oh, wow, we're just straight up saying Resident Evil puzzles. Has anyone found any mysterious statues with metal-shaped indentations yet? Or perhaps large murals that are conspicuously missing segments? Maybe a grand piano? Stop at the pianos! Those tend to be part of the environmental puzzles, too. I'm afraid we haven't seen any of those things yet, Lady Tsumoe. Seems we'll just have to all work together to investigate this mansion. Sounds like a plan. It's so quiet here, isn't it? It's as though no one has been here in ages. One of these days, I would love to live in a mansion just like this, with you by my side as my wife. Ah, will you two give it a rest already? Don't drag the rest of us in your own private little world. The quieter it is, the easier it is, the easier we can predict what comes next. We must listen closely for the sound of someone or something breathing, perhaps something crawling. Oh, and keep an eye on the walls as well. Enemies in horror games love to burst through walls. 
They simply smash right through as though the wall were made of paper or whatnot. Okay, so that was a liquor reference. Now it's a Mr. X slash Nemesis reference. Okay, okay. Truly, they remind me of nothing so much as fierce warriors on the field of battle. Master, can I ask you something? Have you noticed anything kind of off? Like what? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I can't point to anything in particular. It's more like a vague general feeling. No, I don't think I've noticed anything like that. I mean, I have, but I guess the character hasn't. I I see. Of course you haven't. Hmm? Hooray! Now there are strange sounds. Again, why are you so excited about this? Oh, it's an automaton. It would seem to be some form of automata. Ugh. How dare these things attempt to interrupt our precious tryst? No, not attempt. They've already succeeded. Dolls or not, be warned that you will pay dearly for this transgression. And you were having a tryst. Ugh, damn it. Why couldn't I be here having my own, having a tryst of my own with Lord Xiang Yu? I'm sorry, that just slipped out. Anyway, let's just take care of these things. This is the big silly. So let's try out that new form, because I am curious about it. Um, let's grab... I don't need one of you. Let's grab you. And let's go... Let's switch you out for, uh... Yeah, let's try out your new... Ah, oh, but it's on the wrong costume. Uh, dang it. Okay, first change the settings to off. Uh, but then, uh, but the, I can't. I just, I just want to set the costume. I wish it was random by default, and then I could. I can't change it. Oh no. Oh, it's hacking embarrassing. Okay, well we'll have to use her a couple times, I guess. That's fine. We can use her skill at least. Um, and we'll switch this also off for that there okay fine fine let's do this wanted to show the new character in the games like sorry you put on the thing that means you can't see it it's not a one in three chance of seeing it in each battle oh my god i wonder if it counts like form three and then the final art as separate i don't know that's it? Just three of these? Are you serious? Okay. So let's see, how much can you get even? If we go like this. Oh, we can give you a hundred. Easy peasy. Okay. Sure. Blue up. Blue up. Gain up. And let's see, how much would you get? Let's see. Out of a collective, you know, super here. That's some big damage. I think assassins give less refund too, is the thing. Yeah, only 60 some percent. Oh, we didn't even win. Oh, there we go. That's why we didn't hit all the overkills. Okay, completing quests, doing that. I'm Grill. Weird to think about. Strange. Things don't feel too different. Master and Tomoe are examining those dolls' remains. I should really be helping them, but for some reason I can't bring myself to do so. What's going on with me? Hmm. Something off? I asked Master the same thing. Have you noticed anything about off Seagird? Uh, do you mean with regards to our current situation? Well, yes, but I think there might be something a little more specific. I'm sorry, I don't really understand it all that well myself either. It's just... You sense that something is wrong. That there's something amiss you can't explain away. And I'm sure there's something to it. Hmm. I may not be able to sense it as you can, but I suspect this feeling of his unease is caused by something only you would notice. That I'm a girl, and now the sort of way the feelings work changed, maybe? I don't know. And that is significant on its own. Something only I would notice? I noticed- oh wow, look at this art. I noticed a mirror in the hallway just as I was- whoa, As I was going over that scene in my mind and found myself staring at my own reflection. Something only I would notice. Something nobody else would realize. What could it possibly be? Mash? 
Wow. It was Master. She must have gotten concerned about me. I guess whatever it is that's nagging at me will have to wait. Right now, I have other things I need to do. So this is like, again, these two things here are, I mean, one, you can see I, I got the boobers. That is a thing. Um, but this is 100% the game being like, okay, if you haven't noticed by now, like, it will make it obvious. Yeah, sorry, I'll be right there. I wonder if that is a guy one for if you're playing as a girl. Interesting. Okay, I because I don't know what's going on. I feel like there's one real world and one fake world, but or or we're just divided between boundaries and going every time we sleep we change worlds. But at the same time, it's like which one would be the? Well, I mean, I guess the real one would be the one where I'm a guy, right? So is, are we in a fake world right now? Maybe, possibly. Um, let's go. We got that down. Again, do we have any summer? Oh, well, I could try out yours. Sure. Oh, but I no, there, there's an Abbey down there. That is Abbey Witch. Which one is that? That is Abbey the Pope. Okay, Pope Abbey it is. We'll give Pope Abbey a try, I guess. And we got our own. Perfect. Okay. And you're down, but that's fine. Oh, this would seem to be a museum. Ignore the change in art style. Hey, guys. Oh, there's everyone. Is that... No, wait, it's not. Indeed, these are not our allies. They're wax figures. Oh, okay. Oh, my, they just look like the real thing. But who would have made these and why? That I cannot say. What I can say is that I find it a bit unnerving to be surrounded by unblinking identical facsimiles of our familiar allies in this manner. Man, you humans really love making replicas of yourselves, don't you? Firstly, I don't know what you get out of it. Uh, uh, it's gonna be a... Yeah, I was gonna say. L Lord Shun Yu! I'm afraid that's a wax figure of him as well. Though it does look indistinguishable from... Indistinguishable? Get your glasses checked, Mash, because you obviously need a new prescription! How can you possibly mistake this thing for the real Lord Shang Yu in all his glory? How dare you, whoever made this appalling imitation attempt to pass off this as anything approaching his majesty? Just look at this. The spike here is off by 1.8 degrees. These cheek curves are nowhere near as supple. And don't get me started on the thickness of his left little finger's second joint. <laughs> Are your standards might here might just be a little impossible? No, I can't understand. An imitation of the one you love must be perfect in every Oh my god, is this what we're going with? Oh frick, are we a wax figure, but they completely messed up? I have no doubt. I would be just as uncompromising if I were to come across a figure of Lord Yoshinaka as well. Nodding vigorously. Teehee, teehee. Who was that? Spooky. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Wherever this voice is coming from, I should be able to find its source with my VR mind's eye. <gasps> oh goodness, it actually worked. There you are. I like how she tried it and then didn't. Oh, it's nursery. Mm -hmm. uh, you found me. I guess that's the end of hide and seek. Nursery? Are you the one who humiliated Lord Xiang Yi with this pathetic knockoff? Because if you are, I'm going to make you wish you'd never so much as heard of wax. No, no, that wasn't me. I'm just staying here, playing here. That's my role, after all. I'm the girl in the mansion. The girl the what? I'm neither friend nor foe. That's why I was able to be that girl's companion. Just like the bird in the gilded cage or Sleeping Beauty, even a lily would be lonesome if it were all by itself. A lily? Wait, the girl you're talking about, is it Lily? Is she here in this mansion? Oh yes, she's being held captive here. But don't worry, she may be asleep right now, but she's hale and hearty. We shared stories about so many things. Oh, speaking of stories, she said she's waiting eagerly for a new one to be written. Mm -hmm. A new story sounds wonderful to me too. How exciting, how thrilling. I'd love to be the next one to read it after she does. I just know it's going to be great. The first story's ending just had to be a mistake after all. Oh? So I'm positive the sequel will end with something as sweet and satisfying as candy. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait for this Mr. Sourpuss of hers to finish writing The Little Mermaid 2. Oh. Oh my god, the connections. 
Little Mermaid, and she's a mer. Wow, okay. Did you say the Little Mermaid? As in Han the Hans Christian Andersen story? Now that you mention it, Lily's Guardian did say he was writing something for her. So she said that the story's title was The Little Mermaid 2? I want one of the characters go, Didn't I watch that? That exists. Yes, that's right. I'm so glad. No book can be born unless its author wants to write it, after all. Never mind that now. You said she's being held captive. Can you tell us where she is? Mm -hmm. You want to know where she is, do you? Well, like I said, I'm neither friend nor foe. Why don't we play a game? There are so very many dolls here, after all. Wind-up dolls, wax dolls, and also... <laughs> oh, that's saying that word, the dolls, too, yeah. Nursery, wait. Let's go after her, I say with a feminine tone in my voice. Did you ever see a lassie? A lassie, a lassie? Are you, oh, that's just singing as she skips? Okay. Please come back, nursery. Did you ever see a lassie go this way and that? Hee hee, I can't go back now. That wouldn't be any fun at all. See, here come some more friends now. Oh, we get to fight these now. A new type of doll, huh? Those certainly aren't Western-style dolls. I couldn't care less about that, but damn, they sure are big, aren't they? Definitely get a different air about them, that's for sure. So these ones are going to blow up too, right? They seem to be eager for a fight. If they mean to block our path, then... Indeed, loath as I am to destroy anything so cute as these dolls, I do not see any alternative. Ah, then these dolls are supposed to be cute. Of course, I think they're cute too, but we still have to take them out. Well, let's see if one part of their game plan is to blow up. So yeah, that's the connection then. Hans Christian Andersen and the Little Mermaid with the Abakuni. Okay, it all, it all, it's all connecting. It's all working. I do want them to at some point acknowledge the fact that Disney made a Little Mermaid too. Oh, wow. Okay. When you said big, I didn't think that big. Okay. Did not know it was that big. Okay. So what is this? Inflict sleep. Remove when sustaining attack and become stunned. And remove... Wow. So it's Monster Hunter style sleep. That's cool. Fear. Okay, so let's do that for sure. What is... Is that meant to be your tube? It's like shaped there. Uh, debuff success rate. Oh, nice. That's a lot. That's a lot, actually. Okay. Uh, and let's th go then. Okay. Alright. Well, if it's all about getting a big a damage, it makes sense to pop it right away, right? And then use it for a Noble Phantasm, right? Let's see here. And let's see what this Noble Phantasm looks like if it's if it's changed. No, it's about the same. Weird. Uh, also, I've had confirmed that she does say the cat's name in her in her profile. It's not that we're safe. Oh, you get new moves here, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's the... That's the Undersea Palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, uh, that's... We're good. Those aren't the cats that we thought. We're safe. For now. It's not Lovecraft's cat. Don't Google it! Biggest mistake of my life. Okay, get a St. Quartz. Mission 23. Oh my god, every time. Got a battle basilisks. Continue exploring until night. Okay. Where do I fight bat? Where's the basilisks? Are they here? Right? No. Where's the basilisks? Market. There we go. Okay. All right. Um. I mean, if I'm just going to be doing this over and over, I might as well. Yeah. Okay. See you in a bit. Okay, here we are. We are good to keep going. 
didn't take long. There was only two missions there. But it still kind of kills the momentum at times and just eats up my AP. Oh, man. Anyways, let's go to night. Sun setting. It is now nighttime. The time when the ghosts and ghouls, ghouls come out. And we only got one? Fine. Oh, and it's going to be day again. Okay. Okay. Um, we got a variety of classes here. Let's go with, uh, again, if, if we can get another Summer Abbey, I'd like to, I'd like to see her gameplay. We could also go with just double, double Kiara, and that would be kind of incredible. You're down, but that's fine. Yeah, let's, let's do this. We're going to see this full moveset, whether they want us to or not. I didn't get her in the random, like, uh, battles there. I didn't get to see any more of her stuff, so we'll see if her final attack changes or whatever. Teehee, teehee, -hee. that's me pretending to be a little girl for the internet. There, she went down that staircase. Well, let's go after her. Okay, Master, look over there. Oh, she's sleepy. It's Lady Lily. She appears to be fast asleep. All right, I think we had better get her out of... It seems she's in a cage made out of magical energy, and a very strong cage at that. Says who and Lily? Lily! Or Lily! Judging from how it is written, it doesn't seem noise will wake her up. Furthermore... We can't destroy the cage, not without risking her life at any rate. What about our runes? Could we use them to open the cage? I'm sure that we could. It would take some time to analyze a lock. So I think it'd be faster if we look for a key instead. Yeah, this makes sense. Unfortunately, I can't see any signs of a lock or keyhole on this cage. It's made of magical energy, after all. Look over there, an inscription on the wall. Oh, so there is. Let me see what it says. Sacrifice living red to unliving steel. And the unseen cage's captive will be freed. Okay, we need to find something metal and bleed on it. I wonder what it means. Oh, an environmental puzzle. There must be more to this room than meets the eye. Come on, let's look for this unliving steel and living red. Understood. We'll search the area by that pillar. Of course, honey, I'd be happy to join you. <laughs> Perhaps this fragment will fit neatly in this hollow. Nope, seems not. Too bad, I really thought I'd found something there. There doesn't seem to be much in the way of obvious clues here, does there? Mm, this won't do at all. I think I'll give them just a little help. Oh, we're doing an escape room and the employee's coming in to be like, Hey, you guys need a little help. Now the different dolls are teaming up! It seems we will not have the luxury of proceeding at our own pace. Drat, they even have wax figures of them. Oh, with them. Of the most forgettable servants. The thrusting them forward with such awkward stuttering movements, it's so creepy to look at. True, there is something disturbing about going up against such lifelike look-alikes. Oh jeez, please tell me that pathetic excuse for Lord Chiang Yi wasn't among them. I don't know what I'd do if, a, if, if it was. I could never destroy it myself, no matter how poorly it's made. But I also couldn't bear to let anyone else destroy it. On the other hand, I can't just let it attack us. It seems we must put out our hunt for clues on hold. Well, we attend to this more pressing matter. Lord Sigurd, Lady Burnhild, would you two... Lord Sigurd, Lady Burnhild, where did they go? Are they literally just off smooching in the corner? They probably are. Those two horn dogs. You can't take them anywhere. Again, though, they're fitting into the niche of a horror movie. The, two, the, the young couple that just never stops. All right. Target, well, target up on you. Okay. Alright, so let's start with doing some of this. Get that on you to start your gain up to. And, um, let's go. You know what? Let's not pop our stuff just yet. Let's go one, two, three. There we go. Gain some stuff with you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Little teleport kicks. 
I didn't love this design because it looks very similar to her regular sort of... It's sort of like Summer BB, where Summer BB is very similar to regular BB. The big difference just being that, like, you know, it's it's a little, little bit of a change design. So by, you know, this is similar, where it's very similar to her regular design, but yet at the same time... The attack animations are incredible, so I'm not gonna complain. Whoa, that's cool. That's a sick animation. Oh, calm down, ma'am. Jeez. Okay, we just got regular dude, so let's just attack for now. Okay. Bubble. Mermaid tornado. Yeah, those are pretty good attacks. Man, her mermaid flesh is actually kind of incredible, huh? That's a skill I want to level up. Just to get the cooldown down. It's not even that much cooldown, all things considered. That's pretty, it's pretty good. You know what? Um, Let's pop one with you first. Right, so we'll go... go one, two, three, and then that'll give you a bunch of meter... Okay. Just get rid of that one in the back, mostly. Oh, we get to see it. Okay. Oh, it is new. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, straight up. Straight up Otohime, huh? Shirahoshi is, is well no Shirahoshi is the One Piece name. I don't know if that's the name of it in like the myth. But yeah, Giant Mermaid. That's real strong. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And just just to, again, give this a shot. So can we do it twice? Okay, how much damage is this going to do? I'm extremely curious. I, I don't even need that second one, but I'm just, I just—I want to see how much it does. Is this just going to do a ridiculous amount of damage with how much it has? That's incredible. That's a lot of damage! That's a, that's a big amount of damage! Holy crap! That's a ridiculous amount of damage! How? How so much? That's a that's a good okay, she is set in her third costume with that noble phantasm. Giant woman, giant woman! There are so many of them. Really? You may Ren, what happened to you? Yeah, yeah, I died again. There really wasn't anything I could have done this time. This was death from Lord Shang Yu. Huh? Amidst all the chaos of battle, I saw that wax figure of Lord Shang Yu get knocked over next to a torch. It hit the torch and started melting really, really fast. So before I knew what I was doing, I ran over to it and held it in my arms. I guess he wasn't just made of wax because he started burning so hot that I caught on fire along with him. Oh, it was oil-based wax. But I don't regret a thing. I'd do it all over again if I had to. I wouldn't be able to stop myself if I wanted to. After all, pale imitation or not, it was still Lord Shang Yu. So that is why the dolls are so unusually difficult to defeat. All right, maybe I have a few regrets. It wasn't really Lord Shang Yu after all. Plus, now that it's melted, just a pile of colored wax. Nope. Please, do not feel bad about this. I understand why you did what you did. So hey, on a different note, where's Secret and Bernhild? Now that you mention it, I haven't seen them for a while. Maybe they went off to investigate somewhere else before they were attacked? Ah, there seems to be no end to these dolls. It feels as though we are in a scripted in-game event with infinitely spawning enemies. I love, I love having a gamer in a game. In events like that, the only way to escape is to complete some task that advances the story. If that applies here as well, maybe there is something else we should be do- uh huh? Rolling over in her sleep. Oh, is she gonna approach the Lady Mash? Look there in the cage. Is she gonna roll into the? Oh, Lady Lily just rolled over. Did you see that thing beneath her? 
Yes, I do. I didn't notice it before, but it looks like some sort of metal plate. There seems to be something written on it as well. Let's see. Mori? As in the Japanese word for forest? No, as in the Latin word for death, I think. It could be the Latin word, which I think means death. Thank you, Mash. I definitely remember the famous Latin expression memento mori, which means remember that death is inevitable. I see, so if the word death is inscribed in this metal plate, does that mean that that's the unliving steel the riddle mentioned? I guess that's what we're supposed to sacrifice the living red to, whatever it could be. Indeed, so it would seem. I can't believe I did it again. That pillar is dripping with blood. What were you two doing back there? Don't tell me you were... We were not. This had nothing to do with my beloved's desires overwhelming her while we were alone in the dark and everything to do with a ritual required to open this cage. Of course, were it not for my guts, I'd still have died. I believe the living red mentioned in the riddle refers to freshly spilt blood. If true, it means one of us must spill some blood in order to open the cage, so I decided that I should be the one to do so. Thank you, my beloved. Everything worked out just as planned, and it's all thanks to you. I... really? Well, if you're so sure, then maybe you're right. Of course, there's no doubt in my mind whatsoever. Now come, let's apply some of this blood to the metal plate there. How do you apply it? Or isn't she on the other side? It's working. The cage is melting. How did you... She was in the cage with the metal plate. And now... I oh, don't get it. Cage is melting away. Oh, goody, it worked. I thought a fight with the dolls might draw some blood, but I guess the dolls weren't strong enough for that. Ah, I wonder if this one will lead to a happy ending or a sad one. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Maybe the story won't end here at all. Only the author can say one way or another. All we characters in their story can do is sing until the last page is turned. There were two birds sitting on a stone. fa la 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 -dee. One flew away, and then there was one. fa la 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 -dee. The other flew away, and then there was none. fa la 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 -dee. And so the poor stone was left alone. fa la 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 -dee. I don't know. What I, I'm going to be honest. 90% of what nursery rhymes she says, I don't remember. Because I'm gonna be real, Chief. Nursery rhymes aren't really a thing anymore. Unless you're like one of those new kids. Like I'm talking like those brand, brand new babies out in the world. Whose parents just sit them down in front of YouTube nursery rhyme compilations. There's a reason kids are messed up now. Those things suck. Lily, are you alright? Where am I? So you don't remember how you got here? Granted, we're still not sure what happened here ourselves. All we know is that when we got back from the dream world, you were nowhere to be found. Remember? No, I knew I wanted this. I had to be captured like this. I had to experience the ritual of being set free from a cage in order to open up the cage inside me. Okay. Mash, get back! Huh? Is she ascending? It feels so good to finally be free. I can stretch again. What a delight. Who are you? Oh, yes. I suppose I should introduce myself, shouldn't I? Especially to you. He 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 he. Yeah, okay. She's just in this form still. Good day, everyone. My name is Sessio Inkiara. I do hope you have been enjoying this summer's illusions. No way, are, are you... Are people going to recognize her? That's the question. Lily's mother? Oh. Oh, dang. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Are you not? You look so similar that I just assumed. Mash, don't assume. Think, Lady Mash, you seem to be forgetting one simple fact. Servants do not have mothers. Um, do, do, do we explain about Raiko, or? Oh, now that you mention it, they don't, do they? Wait, on second thought, that rule may not apply for pseudo-servants. Then I suppose you are Lady Lily's mother. Should we address you as Madame Sessioin, then? <laughs> oh, thank you. I needed a laugh. Ah, but if that was not a joke, then I failed to see the humor in so tasteless and baseless an assertion. I might go so far as to say such an absurd notion is even offensive. So offensive, in fact, that I may just withdraw the hand I'm using to save you by scooping the lot of you out of your present predicament. Save us? What do you mean, save us? From what? Ah, good question. By way of introduction, permit me to reveal a small part of who I am. 
<laughs> Is she still a beast? Or did that go away? Whoa? Oh yeah, I know all about it. These days you can't go two trees in the mound without running into a gaggle of camping hotties. Oh, thank you, Blackbeard. And yet for some reason the only things that ever wander into my tent are noisy, buzzing insects. How am I ever going to make my fantasy of a pretty girl mistakenly finding her way to my tent, followed by my sleeping bag, come true now? Don't tell me I gave up my pirate life to live out here in the mountains for nothing. Damn it, this ain't good. I'm running dangerously on eye candy. Well then, maybe I ought to take a page from my usual playbook. Please don't be your camp. Please. Oh, wh wh where are you now? That's it. What, some, 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 some are better than servant fest? Frames everywhere you look, dreams coming true left and right now. This is what I call heaven on earth. Wait, is it, is everyone in their own personalized summer heaven? <laughs> I knew I liked mountains for a reason. They really take me back to my days on Mount Oe. It's nothing like going around kidnapping beetles left and right like the fearsome Oni I am. Sure, all the beetles on this mountain might die out if I completely fill up my beetle cage. But why should I care, Manoni, if you want me to stop wrecking things and bring me tribute? Oh, I, I know. For every macaroon you bring me, I'll release one beetle. But hey, I'm reasonable. I'll accept shaved ice, too. Damn it, now I'm hungry. I wonder if Red Guy will make me something if I bring him some beetles. So what's hers? Is hers the, on the mountain? Oh, oh. I didn't know there was a place like this up in the mountain. Now this town would totally be worth taking for ourselves. I'll let you know about it too. But first, let's see what these candy houses taste like. Don't eat the houses, people live there. What was that? What did you do to them? That is difficult to answer. All I can say right now is that I have made them happy. Those other worlds we caught glimpses of must be illusions. And it seemed to me as though Lord Blackbeard and Lady Ibaraki Doji disappeared inside them. Yes, that's right. They're all living quite happily in the illusions created from their own dreams. Hmm. What's wrong with a happy illusion? If the happiness is genuine, then its source is an illusion. Then its source as an the source that should be as an illusion should not matter. In this singularity, there are really only two ways one can survive: live out their days in a dream or live them out in an illusion. All I'm doing is showing everyone the way. Of course, should one try to resist the treatment they need, even the most potent drug can become a poison. Indeed, should one insist they have no desire for happiness, well then it should be no surprise if something else swallows them up. If one failed to protect someone dearest to him, or failed to reach their dearly desired destination, or decided to submit rather than rebel, well, it's no wonder they end up consumed by nightmares. Then you did that to those people in the hotel? Mm hmm I can't be held responsible if they never learn to relax while they sleep. Now then... Now then, what? As delightful as it has been to wake up again, it seems I woke up a bit early. Though my vows remain unchanged, it would be the height of rudeness to let something slip through my fingers just because I've not yet fully roused myself. I do hope you don't mind if I take a little time to myself to freshen up. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is she gonna do? Jeez, talk about speaking in riggle, riddles and vague crap. What was that servant's deal? I'm not sure. I can't tell what connection she has to Lily either. But given what she said about that dream hotel... I can only assume that she plays a key part in whatever's going on here. Agreed. That was final boss energy if I ever seen it. So does this mean that beautiful one, uh, Cesarine Chiara, is the one responsible for the singularity? If she is, I guess that makes her the enemy? Well, there are some parts that still nag at me. I do think that is fundamentally correct. What is nagging at you? Well, I suppose it's more of a feeling that something is off. If Lily's mother... No, that's not right. If this mysterious relative of Lily's, Sasuke and Kiara, is responsible for the singularity, then what are we to make of this mountain? True, there's still much we don't know about what this mountain really is. Yes, exactly. You make an excellent point, my beloved Bernhild. I'll be sure to keep your concerns in mind. In the meantime, I think we are done with this place for now. Yes, I agree. There doesn't seem to be anything more we can do here for the time being. What was that weird cut? Why don't we all return to the cottage? That sounds good to me. Shall we go back, Master? I guess so. Hmm. Uh, even though something is very clearly still off. Okay, so. Ah! Uh, Punisher Girl. Interesting. Alright. Okay. Do we have a thing that's locked here? Konnichiwa! 
We do need to do this. Okay, I'm gonna do this quickly, and then uh, we'll be back with... Uh, yeah, we'll do...